Welcome back, everyone. Today is October 15th. It is currently 9, 10 p.m. as I'm recording this. Today is coming out pretty late. Today's topic is about doing the simple things for success, really emphasizing that in order to achieve success, there's no magic, there's no secret formula. It's just hard work repeated. Focusing on the fundamentals, doing the fundamentals excellently gives you the best chance to get success. So let's explore this idea. What do I mean by this? So oftentimes, you know, whether you're an athlete or a business or just an individual trying to grow, trying to progress, we tend to have this pattern of thinking that in order for us to succeed or the reason that we're not succeeding is because there's this sort of like magic formula, this secret thing you're not doing. And that's the thing that is limiting you from success. In reality, for most people, it is likely that they're not doing the basic foundational fundamental things very well, and therefore they have no foundation for their success to sit upon. So here's an idea just from basketball, something I coached in the previous year. For an athlete to be good and to not be a liability on the court, there's a handful of skills that they need to kind of master. I would argue that one of them is just being confident with the ball. And is that a skill? Yes and no can look like a couple things. So making sure everyone is proficient dribbling with at least one hand, making sure that you know how to pass a ball well, how to pass a ball to the target, and having some basic simple shot form or layup form. If you can do these three basic things well, you're already well on your way to being a successful basketball player. The level of success you achieve might vary, but the thing is you won't be a liability on your team. If you have these few small skills, it essentially means that, you know, once you get the ball, you're not a liability. You could potentially score, get assists or contribute to success, whatever that looks like. Having recently watched some volleyball games at the new school that I'm working at, it seems pretty clear to me that a number of the athletes, many of the athletes don't really understand the fundamental of movement. Where should they be on the court? How should they position themselves? And I would say an even deeper fundamental than that is just preparedness. How ready are you to move to the ball? With young athletes in volleyball, in many sports, the readiness is not drilled into their mind. In any sport you do, you have to be ready to move, particularly if it's an explosive sport. The last sport example I'll give is like jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu, there are a handful of fundamental techniques and positions that we all know and study. And honestly, you can master them by the time you finish your blue belt and perfect them in purple, brown, and black belt and use the same basic sweeps, basic positions, basic submissions to achieve a great degree of success. The point I'm trying to iterate here is that you don't need all these fancy, interesting, kind of complex things to succeed. Oftentimes, you just need the fundamentals. And with the fundamentals, you need to do them as perfectly as you possibly can. And then it's just hard work, repetition. So in business, it's a matter of, you know, are you getting leads? Are you getting clients? Are you getting business opportunities coming in? If you've mastered that art, you can expand your business as much as you are capable of having it, whatever your glass ceiling is as a leader. As a teacher, I've found some of the fundamentals to be just that relationship building, getting to know your students and making sure that they know who you are goes such a long way for a classroom cohesion. Now, obviously, I'm not saying to ignore some of those higher level skills, some of those more abstract skills. Those are still necessary. But again, the emphasis of this video is that oftentimes we just need to do those simple things that are easy. They're easy to ignore. They're easy to overlook. Those are the things that are really holding us back from our higher level success, the foundation. Tim Ferriss even talks about this book. I mean, he wrote The 4-Hour Chef as a speed learning book. He talks about this idea that you can do six months of learning in a very short amount of time, much less than six months. If you simply identify what those basic skills are, what those most common skills are, most ubiquitous, most used, most frequently needed at all levels, if you figure out what those are, sometimes you'll need coaching and help and just start hammering away at those basic skills, you can basically get to the 80% proficiency in that skill in a very short amount of time. So Tim Ferriss would be a good person to check out on speed learning. And I think he has his kind of mentor in that area, 
Josh Whiteskin, and they really emphasize this idea of just do these simple things and it'll allow you to achieve a tremendous amount of success and proficiency in any given skill, any given domain. And then you can worry once you're at this nice, crispy 80% level, then you can worry about whether or not you want to make those challenging incremental gains to 85, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100%. Understand that in certain domains, you won't get to the 100%, right? So, you know, you can work really well and become a very good basketball player at your level and maybe get to a semi-pro level. But obviously, there are things that are going to limit you from being the best of the best. LeBron James or the Steph Currys of the sport. And the same goes in business, in teaching, in parenting, whatever it is. There's going to be a set of skills that are the fundamental things that help you along the way that you will need when you begin, that you'll need when you're in intermediate level, when you're kind of proficient and at the mastery level as well. So I would encourage you to, whatever it is you're trying to get better at, figure out what are the fundamentals of that task and really master them to the best of your ability and see where that takes you in three months, six months, 12 months, two years, a career, a lifetime. Okay, best of luck. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Take care. Goodbye.